but why don't you just put the end to the record and the argument and put your hand on the Bible, swear to God you walked on the moon. Mr. Cyril, yeah. knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. Why don't we're you there. talk to the administrator in NASA? We're passengers. We're, we're guys going on a flight. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you get well, I'm heading out. Get the hell out of them. Fuck out. Well, I've hate your stuff and get the fuck out. Why don't you quote me and say it's bullshit? I mean, the shadows in her uncle. I don't give a, I don't give a damn about all that shit. You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black if you ever thought of it. Saying I misrepresented myself. Get away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. Well, I want you to I want you to swear to God on the Bible that you walked on the moon. If you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you. You don't leave me alone. Watching them lie through their teeth, carrying on yep. a hoax that is so outrageous that they're they're beyond human. They couldn't cover it up. They no, were just too you, Exactly. You can see on Neil Armstrong, particularly, oh. he, has a, he yeah. doesn't want to lie. This guy just doesn't want to lie. No. He's looking down. He just doesn't want to say anything. This is why he didn't give any interviews for the rest of his life. Look at that. Please do look at that, folks. The YouTube video of the first Apollo uh, crew to press come back at oh. press conference. It is. It's really embarrassing. I mean, it's just embarrassing. It The lie was so big that they couldn't, they really couldn't fake it that well. It was too much for them. Lie through their teeth, carrying on yep. a hoax that is so outrageous that they're, they're beyond human. They couldn't cover it up. They no, were just too you, human. You, exactly. You can see on Neil Armstrong, particularly, oh. he, say, he yeah. doesn't want to lie. This guy just doesn't want to lie. No. He's looking down. He just doesn't want to say anything. You want me to knock you in the head? Well, I want you to I want you to swear to God on the Bible that you walked on the moon. If you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you. You don't leave me alone. Watching them, but you're going to be on the deck unless you get well, I'm heading out. I'm heading out. And get the hell out of the house. Well, I hate your stuff and get the fuck out. Why don't you quote me and say it's bullshit? I mean, the shadows in her uncle. I don't give a, I don't give a damn about all that shit. You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black if you ever thought of it. Saying I misrepresented myself. Get away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. Why don't you just put the end to the record in the argument? and put your hand on the Bible, swear to God you walked on the moon. Mr. Cyber, yeah. knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. Why don't we're you there. talk to the administrator in NASA? We're passengers. We're, we're guys going on a flight. I don't hit people. The Department of Defense continued its advance into space by conducting five high-altitude tests above Johnston Island. Most of these bombs were carried aloft by the Air Force's Thor missile, to continue the research of neutralizing incoming enemy warheads high above the Earth. Nuclear weapon testing had joined the space age.
This small step toward safety can be followed by others, longer and less limited, if also harder in the taking. <coughs> With our courage and understanding enlarged by this achievement, let us press onward in quest of man's essential desire for peace. As President of the United States, and with the advice and consent of the Senate, I now sign the instruments of ratification of this treaty. Tightrope was the last atmospheric test ever conducted by the United States, and it was fired from Johnston Island in the Nike Hercules air defense missile and detonated again well above Johnston Island. And that ended this whole series of atmospheric testing by the United States when, in 1963, we entered the Limited Test Ban Treaty that prohibits any atmospheric testing.
with Amy, I'd like to um, thank the devil and all the dark lords who Don't do the devil stuff. gave her this award Don't do the devil stuff. and allowed her to feast on the flesh of the enemy. Thanks, everyone. Our mission as the Civilian Space Exploration Team is to be the first civilian team in history to launch a rocket that reaches space. All systems are go for launch.